Today, we will prepare a one-time phosphate buffer solution, and these are the items. To prepare, we will need sodium chloride, potassium chloride, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, and sodium dihydrogen phosphate. All salts will be weighed carefully using a balancer. First of all, we will have to make sure that the weighing boat is re-zero, and then we will scoop it out into the weighing boat. Salts will be dissolved with distilled water. And as we can see, the salts will contain aggregates that does not dissolve. Therefore, we will mix them using a magnetic stirring bar. We will rinse first the magnetic stirring bar with the distilled water before adding it into the beaker. This magnetic stirring bar will stir the salt until it dissolves. We will adjust the pH of the solution. As we can see here, it is very acidic. So we will adjust with a weak basic solution, which is sodium hydroxide. We will have to adjust the pH until pH 7.4 before we move on to increase the volume to 1 liter. We will have to remove the magnetic stirring bar. Once removed, we will have to transfer the remaining solution into a volumetric flask. we will increase the volume with distilled water until it reaches one liter. We will put the cap and mix the solution well using the volumetric flask. And that is how we prepare a one-time phosphate buffer solution. Phosphate buffered saline or PBS is a non-toxic solution used in many biological laboratories. Unlike water, PBS prevents cells rupturing or shriveling up due to osmosis. Buffer solution is important to maintain pH blood changes to ensure normal functioning of cells. Buffers are solutions that resist a change in pH on addition to small amounts of acids or alkaline from cellular biochemical metabolic activities. Most commonly used buffer solution in veterinary medicine is saline solution or sodium chloride 0.9%. This buffer will be administered via intravenous infusion to animals. The purpose of this solution is to rehydrate, recover blood loss, remove toxin in jaundice cases and many more. Sodium chloride, 0.9% Compound sodium lactate What do you think will happen if the pH of our blood changes drastically from its normal pH of 7.35? Yes, the cells of our body will not function properly and our body systems will fail. Human blood contains a buffer, 
that allows it to maintain its pH at 7.35 to ensure normal functioning of cells. Buffer solutions are also important in chemical and biochemical processes where the control of pH is very important. The same thing can be observed in animals.